Oh, I was just thinking about you know, all the hours I put in after practice. And I'm at the free throw line, working on my free throws. And, uh, you know, I was just like, all right, you know, I work on these every day. Let me just do what I always do, my same little routine. And, you know, knock them down. And that's what I did. Randall, we paused in the conversation that after the game, you know, we made the first three shot. What he said. I think he was like, uh, if they, um, if I miss one, then we we fouling. But in my mind, you know, I was like, what? Is that even a miss? You wow, they ain't missing no, they ain't missing. So that's what I was thinking. When he said, you know, if we if I miss, then we foul right away, tight. In the huddle, when uh, oh, I was not nah, because I was trying to get him to get out so I can be the low man, and uh, you know, you know what the low man is. I mean, yeah, generally, yeah. Yeah, so I was trying to be the low man because you know I'm six nine, six ten. He's like six five, six six, on the six seven on a good day, and uh. I'm like, all right, let me let me be the low man and contest the shot because I know uh, Tatum's coming downhill. But uh, you know, I kind of told him kind of late, so he was snapping on me. You know, he be on my head, and uh, he be on me. So pause. But it seemed like you got the next two rebounds. I did. I did get the next two rebounds, and uh, you know, we, you know, he was on me, so he was just about to take criticism, and you know, being able to uh, stay focused for real, like. You know, you know how it is in professional sports. Everybody want to win, and tensions get high. But to remain cool, calm, and collected when the tensions get high is is the key. And we got to stay together in moments like that. And uh, I was just glad we was able to stay together and not like freak out. That's the defensive possession that resulted in Terry's steal. You guys stopped them. They had like three or four attacks and stopped them. How, how did that? How did you see that? Um, did Tyree still play? That was crazy. No cap. Because I ain't going to lie. It was going to get 24 hours. He just threw the ball away. And uh, I thought, you know, the shot clock went out. But, you know, he threw a chest pass to Tyree. So, that, I mean, you know, he caught it. I was surprised. And then that last play, I feel like uh, me coming over and helping, kind of like, because at first, I feel like they designed it to where they didn't want me to know what was going on. And I seen what was happening, like, at the last second. And I was able to come over and help as he was driving. And uh, I don't think they expected that. Paul, on the, I think it was the first one where you shot free throws. Uh, you know, James gets doubled and he hits you right away. I guess we've talked about, you know, the trust that you've kind of gained from him over the season. Does that feel like just another example of huge play there and you just get the ball and, you know, you attack yeah. the rim? For sure. I wasn't expecting him to pass the ball to me in that situation, no cap. But, you know, I was ready. And I was wide open, and I was going to go dunk. I was, I was going to dunk the ball, and, you know, they fouled me or whatever. And, you know, knocked down two free throws. I'm glad I was able to do that. I feel like now he's like, all right, he going he gonna to at least knock the free throws down if he get fouled. So that's – I feel like it's just good to build that trust. Like, in a game like today, I feel like I – I was able to build a lot of trust with my coaches and uh, my teammates for sure. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Paul. <clears throat> Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Tobias, I guess just to start, what what did you see from James tonight? Man, he was uh, phenomenal for us. I mean, um, from the start of the game, just being aggressive. He got the three ball rolling early and was just able to make play, plays after plays for us. And, um, you know, all the way down to the end of the game in the clutch, being able to come up big and, and make those shots, that's, that's what he does. I mean, um, you know, he has, um, you know, a huge amount of confidence in his game and, and what he works on. He's been doing that for so long. And, um, you know, this was amazing, uh, amazing time to come out and just dominate. He dominated the whole game. and. Uh, you know, carried us to the victory. It was, it was a team effort, but uh, he did an amazing job of just having his composure all throughout the game to help us win. 
And, and can you take me through one play you made late? Uh, you kind of dribbled the ball out to the three-point line on Horford, but then you went back to the to score that, that mm -hmm. layup. Did you know you had the time to, uh, you know, to still get all the way to the rim once you dribbled out there? What was, what was the deal there? Yeah, I mean, it was all by design. I thought if I dribbled it for 10 seconds, I'd be able to get around. <laughs> no, no, I had it, and, uh, you know, I had them beat the first time, and I thought they were going to help from the corner. And then by the time I, I brought it back out, I saw it was three seconds. And I was like, okay, I got to get something up at the rim. And I was able to get by him and um, be able to lay the ball right up. So <laughs> it looked like it happened by design. But for, for me, I was just trying to get get something up at the rim. I didn't want to um, you know, have us get no shot up at that, at that point in, in time of the game. Uh, but, yeah, that was that play. Just our, just our focus level. Um, and all throughout that game, I thought that, um, you know, it, it wasn't going in our way pretty much early on in the way that they were playing and able to score the basketball. But for us, you know, all week, you know, we were able to get some good work in, like the whole group that, that was uh, obviously without Joel there. Uh, so, you know, we, we kind of knew that he wasn't going to be able to go uh, in today's game. And, you know, our focus was to have the confidence and the mindset that we were going to win this game. And, um, you know, we, we didn't let a lot of all the outside um, distractions of like, oh, is he playing, is he not? Like for us, we were like, listen, whoever's ready to go right now, you know, let's get ready to come out here and get a victory. And um, that should be our, our focus, our emphasis. And we were able to do that tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was just us scrambling like all week. You know, we we've we are we know um, and understand their, their firepower with uh, guys who can create shots and create shots off the dribble as well. And uh, for us, you know, we were just scrambling out there. Tyrese was able to get the steal. I feel like. Um, you know, they thought the uh, shot clock went off, so it was going to be um, us taking the ball out. No, I was so uh, – Tyrese didn't hear me, but I was saying, go, go. Like, go finish that thing. So, uh, you know, I knew he was able to go and get a basket there. But that, was, that was a huge basket for us. That kind of really shifted the game. Right? I mean, the game was shifting, but that was big for us to, uh, um, you know, get, get that steal and get an easy lay-in. Uh, James, you said early in this year that you wanted to incorporate the mid-range, be a little more unpredictable. Was that conscious?